No, no, no. Gods of Egypt was given a horrible review by Polygon multiple times before it came out and after it came out. And I should have listened. Gods of Egypt is Hercules and Immortals. Put them together, have Meg eat them, and poop them out. Yes, the poop is a Gods of hey! Egypt. This movie was all over the place, guys. <laughs> what do you want? So the story in a nutshell, the king of Egypt gets murdered by his brother to try to get his crown. The son, which is the nephew, tries to fight him off, doesn't do a good job, and he gets his eyes removed from him and gets left for dead, so the uncle keeps him alive. Well, everybody becomes a slave. This Aladdin kind of dude has his girlfriend that says, you know, we need to bring the son back to save us. So he goes out to try to retrieve one of his eyes. And he goes through these little booby trap places. In the end, he gets his eye, but they get caught. She gets killed. And he makes a deal with the son to try to bring her back to life. Along the way, they travel many different lands. Mountains, deserts, swamps, even space. In the end, the son and the uncle battle it out. But the uncle has forced himself with other gods' attributes. So now he's like a multi-god. So it made it a little bit difficult for the son to beat him, but the hero always wins, guys. This movie was a bit hard to keep up. It was. It was all over the place. Try to keep up. So how did they try to get our attention? Two ways. They got at least two good actors and some special effects, which really didn't help much. Gerard Butler is the uncle and the bad guy, which I caught myself rooting for more than the good guys. <laughs> this bland Hercules dude played by... I have a hard time with his name, guys. Hold on. Nick... Nicolaj? Nicolaj? Coaster Waldau? Dude! <laughs> Get a different name. <laughs> the architect, who really didn't have much of a role. I mean, his role was big, but he didn't come out as often. Played by Rufus Sewell. Sewell? Don't! Another one. <laughs> and the grandfather, who his role was kind of boring, played by Jeffrey Rush. And the rest! Nah, I got bored already. They weren't really that cool. <laughs> Again, we're gonna rate this movie with thumbs up. One means it sucked. And three means it was badass. How awesome was this movie? The special effects were pretty cool, guys. The snakes, the fight scenes, they were all pretty awesome. They did a good job on that, so I'm going to give them a two thumbs up. I'm going to give the storyline a one thumb. Up. The movie didn't really have to last that long. They put a lot of stuff in there that left you in the end like, really? Let's move on from this. Come on, let's do this. What are you guys waiting for? We should run! Run? We mortals do it all the time! Is this movie reviable? Will I buy it after it comes out? I give that a one thumb. I'll put it to you this way. If this movie was at Walmart at the $5 bin, I'll still debate on getting it. The only way to achieve this is unthinkable. Guys, this is my review. It's a sad movie that when you're watching it, you ask yourself multiple times, how much longer? Guys, did you watch this movie? Did you like it? What was your favorite part or your hated part? Let me know in the comments, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.